Hello, my name is Jaleez. Right now, I'm going to give you my Arrow Season 5 review versus Arrow C uh, versus Flash Season 3. Which one was the better season, Arrow or Flash? And for those who are asking why I do, ain't doing DC Legends of Tomorrow or the Supergirl Season 2, I have not watched those shows. I'm going to start catching up with them. I'm going to do a whole ranking of the entire seasons, of all the Arrowverse seasons. Check out later for that video, but right now, it's Arrow Season 5 versus Flash Season 3. And... Which one's the better one? And and here's the thing, everybody. I enjoyed the Flash Season 3 over Arrow Season 5. You know why? You know why people like Arrow Season 5 more than Flash Season 3? Because Arrow Season 4 was a bad season. And then Arrow Season 5... Anything... If you start off with a low point, if you have low expectations for Arrow... Season... After Season 4... Then your expectations will only go higher for Arrow Season 5. Flash uh, Season 2, to me, was a great season. I gave it an A-, minus, a 9.3 out of 10. This was my least favorite season of Flash Flash Season 3, but it was still a great season. So, if you're gonna... These are the grades. Flash Season 3, I am given an A. It's a 9 out of 10. I thought it was a great season overall. Solid. Flash Season uh, 5, I mean, not Flash Season 5, Arrow Season 5, I gave it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. It's a B+. Plus. And yes, that is a big improvement over Season 4. Season 4 was a B- minus to a C+. Plus. C- plus to a B-. minus. I really, really could not stand Arrow Season 4. The Arrow Season 5, a great return to Arrow. Season 6, I can't wait for it to pick up its game in Flash. Hopefully it makes up for his mistakes and gets ahead. But that's a quick one without spoilers. Flash Season 3 to me is superior, but let's go to each show. What is the good, what's the bad? Um, Let's start with, with Flash Season 3. I love... That's Wally West and Jesse Quick are now speedsters. They are now have like their own speed. They're helping Barry save the world. Love it. Love the introduction of a new character called Gypsy. Love her relationship with Cisco Ramon, person that could vibe. Love that Cisco is vibing right now. Love that Caitlyn is now uh, technically Killer Frost. She has her metahuman powers. I love that how Barry, after the first episode of Flashpoint, how all this, the, the whole theme of Flash Season 3 is time is not relevant. Every single decision you make affects everything. And the fact that he went back in time to save his mother and how it affected everyone's life. And then how it affected the rest of like some of Arrow stuff like how Diggle has a son instead of a daughter. Great stuff. Cisco lost his brother. In a, uh, in a new timeline. So now the Flash is screwed up. I liked who Savitar was. I really enjoyed him. What I did not like about this season was two things. One, they had this whole arc of Iris West dying, and the fact that she was um about to, like, it, it would have been very, very interesting if the show actually would have killed Iris off, and would have showed, like, the audience that not everything you could do can save somebody. Not everyone could be saved. They could put the theme for that, and have truly uh, uh, terrible consequences for Barry to never focus again on time, or never to change time again. But they decided to do it the last episode that Iris should live. To me, she still should have died. Because Avatar was just revealed in season, uh, in episode 20. You, he's only revealed in episode 20, and that was only like three episodes. So three episodes, you get the true evil Barry Allen. And I loved it. And we and how he died was stupid. Savitar's death was stupid. How I feel about the Flash season 3... Is how I feel about Arrow Season 3. Both great seasons. They were both very solid. And then the last episode happened. And then it was awful. And the fact is. That Savitar dies by a bullet. Is freaking ridiculous. And Irish Rest kills him. No. Absolutely fucking atrocious. Atrocious. I'm glad that Joe got a love interest, and what I love about Flash compared to Arrow is just that the villains are more memorable. The trickster, the guy with the hurricane, um, the two new speeds, uh, this, uh, this new speedster guy, the first episode, um, the shark guy, Gorilla Grodd, such memorable characters compared to the constantly new thugs on Arrow. But overall, I'm not saying the Arrow characters are bad, but the villains of Flash are just more memorable. And... Again, what I did not like, that they try to give the new Harrison Wells, or Harry Wells, whatever you want to call him, the guy with the drumsticks, a love interest, like in three episodes, and then 
when he suddenly is uh, dead instead of Iris, and the uh, person's like, you stole my life to this avatar, like my future. No, no. I don't believe a love interest in three fucking episodes. No, thank you. I'm not some teenage girl like, I ship him instantly. No. So, yeah, Flash Season 3, um, a lot of great things going for it. It's just the last two episodes or last episode just really, really, some of the dumb decisions. And if Iris was gonna, not going to die, then how not, why let's have Dark get killed off in the most stupidest way? That ending was totally stupid. But what can you do? It, overall, I enjoyed it. I It's going to be very interesting to see where Flash Season 4 will be. I, this TV show just proved to me it didn't have the balls to kill Iris. So I doubt they're going to have no uh, Barry Allen, the guy that plays Barry Allen, for Flash Season 4. It will be very interesting if they did like how Kid Flash will be most of just Season 4. How Wally West and Jesse Quick will be the new Flash. And the TV show could still be called a Flash just without Barry Allen. You got Wally West right there. I actually enjoy Wally, so I'm actually looking forward to what his character will bring to the show now. So Wally West, I really hope he does great in Season 4. If Barry Allen's not there, but either way, still rooting for Wally. Arrow Season 5, what it had going good for it. Um, The, the flashback sequence is actually, this is the last flashback sequence, that's a plus. Um, that the flashback sequence ends of um, Oliver and Russia, how he's trying to build up a new team, how he recruiting them and training them how similar he was trained by the Bravda, the Russian mob. And I just think the flashbacks really connected well. I love Oliver as a mayor. I love his new take on the city, how he's trying to stop violence, trying to stop different real estate companies to come over. I love his relationship with Dia. Dia, how short she was in this season. It was helping out her brother, Love Queen Snipe Redemption Arc, how, like how he was getting along with some of the new recruits, especially Wild Dog. Um, love John Diggle's story, how he's trying to find redemption in the army, then comes back to Team Arrow. And there was some, uh, and Prometheus, uh, uh, Chase, Adrian, uh, Prometheus, Adrian Trace, an amazing villain, great villain. Um, what else can I say? Um, the, the Vigilante was awesome, uh, Tob uh, Tobias Church was awesome. I just really, really enjoyed the villains of Arrow this season a lot more than I did ha than I have the previous two seasons, or previous season four. But um, what did not work about Arrow? Too many vigil uh, too many vigilantes. I mean, too many new recruits. Some of the new recruits that they have, they don't interact with the team that well. And another problem is that when you have so many recruits, they did the mistake of like to have, telling the uh, like the recruits backstories. And then leaving off the original characters like Diggle, the other uh, Quentin, they disappear for many episodes. And then the recruits, when they have these moments alone to themselves, they don't really shine out. They shine out better when Wild Dog was with Quentin Lance with the mayor stuff. When uh, Mr. Terrific or... Uh, I, I forgot the guy's name. I forgot the guy besides his alter ego, Mr. Terrific. Like his relationship with Wild Dog. Like the new uh, Dinah Drake. I like the new Black Canary. I just, she's a very cool, interesting character. Love her relationship with Quentin. Love her relationship with Diggle. Really starting to like the new characters. Certain other flawed characters like Evelyn Sharp, the recruit, didn't really stand out to me. Um, Mr. Terrific, a uh, terrible fighter, but I believe he would be a good techno. And what I also didn't like about the season, they, they teased Felicity again. I could not stand Felicity in season four. Honestly, couldn't. Couldn't stand her to be at first half of this season, and then, and basically by episode twenty, I forgave her for all her stupidity, and I like the fact that her and Oliver have now a more healthy relationship as friends. But the fact is that Arrow season five teased again that they're gonna be together again is freaking ridiculous. We do not need more Felicity Oliver romantic moments. To me, those two are toxic in relationship. And for those who say that I just want Laurel and Oliver together, no, I hated them together as well. I never liked Laurel and Oliver together just because there's so much baggage of him cheating on her with her sister, with her sister, and another woman who eventually gave birth to his child. Yeah, Oliver was a dick, and I don't like his relationship with Laurel at all. Didn't like his relationship with Felicity. I liked the beginning, and then they turned a great big drama in season four. But going back to Arrow season five, the fact that they tease more Felicity and Oliver together, gag, shoot me. But overall, Arrow Season 5 was a massive, massive improvement over Arrow Season 4. Because they focus more on the vigilante, real world problems, and lots of stuff that comes with the political bullshit of being a mayor. 
So Arrow Season 5 was an excellent season of Arrow, just not my favorite. I'm going to give that Season of Arrow a B plus and Flash Season 3 a 9 out of 10. And both shows were amazing, both seasons were amazing, it's just I prefer Flash Season 3 over Arrow Season 5. But then again, when I go back to this series, I'll probably watch it again next year. And then I'll debate whether or not to do the rankings. But overall, I will be doing a ranking video of all the, the CW Arrow first seasons of Arrow, Flash, I was going to say Smallville, uh, but um, Supergirl, and uh, these Legends tomorrow. I'll be ranking all the 12 seasons, and yes, there is 12. So overall... I cannot wait to look forward to that and subscribe if you like everybody. Disagree down bottom link, kind of comment down below. Let me know. Respect my opinion. Respect yours. Let me know what y'all think, everyone. What was better, Flash Season 3 or Arrow Season 5? Right, everyone named Lee. Sending our feet, everybody. Bye bye.